What up, fellow Decepticons? Your main man, Munger, here with my boy, Laserbeak, shocking Autobots. Oh, yeah. And now we just flap away like no big deal. All red and stuff. Oh, yeah. What, what? Holla at you, bird, bruh. Holla at him. Oh, yeah. That's me, Laserbeak, of course. And I really enjoy this part because I can ram and, of course, roll. Not quite as cool as rock and roll, but ram and roll will have to do because we are just a minicon after all, right? Yep, that's all we are. You sure are working hard for with all that stuff. It would go a lot faster with your help. Yeah, it would. Your humor is ill advised at this time. Oh, yeah. Looks like we're gonna be moving them to the scrapyard pretty soon here with our boy Laserbeak. Well, we're not gonna actually move them because that's too much work for my little old wings and my tails in the ground and stuff. So I really do like this part. This is a fun part in the game, in my opinion. But again, we suffer through like a lot of loading, but it's worth it to see that Autobot dance with electricity. Oh yeah, <laughs> gotta love it. And apparently, the lazy ones get killed quickly by laser beak. So let's go ahead and use our bird scanner. These happen to be all around the facility. Very convenient. I will explain why they're here in due time. Give it time. And there's a load again. Of course. Always loading. Laser beak. My sensors indicate you have entered a facility that connects with the Sector 7 passageways. Their security protocols will no longer hinder the data stream. Scan everything. All right, sounds good, Soundwave. I can understand it because I am part of you. And these little scanners, of course, they're here because of canaries. The Autobots and the humans would send the canaries in first to see if the facility was safe. Although the canaries couldn't use them or read or anything, so... Yeah. Journal 545. It's been getting more difficult to work on the mech tech with some of the seismic activity lately. Those volcanic stabilizers need to be monitored more closely. Sounds good, brah. But hold on one second. Got a call on the Minicon phone. Alright, we're back! Spin for joy! Yay! That was just Rumble on the phone saying that he rumbled a little too hard, busted up some of the good china, and now Ratbat is on a frenzy. <laughs> yes, yes, very much so. So this is an important room with some important Autobots that need to be shocked. Yes. <laughs> I just love that so much. Oh, torture. Torture. It must feel good being like a really small Decepticon, being able to beat up on the big old Autobots with ease like that. I would only imagine he would get... Much pleasure from it. I think it's he. It's nice to be he or she. I don't know if it was ever said, actually. Channel 420. Worked in the control room on one of the volcanic stabilizers today. Smart bit of architecture putting the controls on the second floor. Using the super heat generator from the volcano will save a lot of time and energy building the alloys we need. But if those computers have a serious hiccup, we're all swimming in lava. Mm-hmm. Swimming in lava. Soundwave swam in lava an episode ago. <laughs> yeah, kind of killed him. But we rebuilt him stronger. And I just had to, you know, become stronger myself. The double damage is kind of useless because you get it. And then it's like, if you don't get it at the right exact time, it doesn't do you any good. And speaking of getting it at the right time, I could have used one right here. But it's not going to matter because I got superior skills. I see like a hawk. And I load like a 1980s Macintosh computer or an old Apple. That's how I load. Nice and slow. Laser beak. You have located one of the volcanic stabilizers. Find a way to alter its harmonics so that I can destroy it. And who does this sound wave think I am? I'm a bird! I got a bird brain, brah. Oh well, we'll try, we'll try, we'll interact with this thing here. Yeah, there we go. Yes. Yes. Thank goodness for the bird scanner. No one else could use this. Only laser beak and canaries, like I was saying before. It's perfect! Very bad design, if you think about it. Who was the architecture? Oh, here's the suitcase. I think I'll just go in there. 
You don't see me. Oh, you're shooting at a suitcase, bruh. You're shooting at a suitcase. And you know what? I would just imagine Laserbeak would just be sitting here like... <laughs> That's how I would think that he would talk, at least. And he's like... You Autobots are all gonna die! <laughs> he's like kind of like one of those weasels from Roger Rabbit. Those things always made me laugh. And another thing that makes me laugh is... Killing them with the wind gusts, because I just fought it. <laughs> yes, I broke wind before you, Autobot. <laughs> if you don't die from my bullets, you will die from the stink, guaranteed. Bird farts. Deadly. Super deadly. Like the deadliest of all farts known to nature, because they can just waft it right into you with their wings. Just wafting it right up your nose. It's the worst. It's so bad that I think we found the name of the episode, Laserbeak Farts. Two words, nice and simple, very, very deadly and stinky, title means business. Boom, seal it up, lock it, throw away the key, and put it in your time capsule, because we'll never open that fart. It'll stink way too much. Once it has been aged, it is way more potent than even an aged bottle of wine. Journal 451. Based on my analysis of the volcanic activity here, if just three of the stabilizers are taken offline, the magma chamber would swiftly go to an eruption. Everything would be destroyed. Let's hope that never happens. Destruction and chaos? Well, I'm on the con side. Let's hope that happens, because I can't wait to kill and destroy everything so I'm the last bird on the planet. Oh, then I'd be lonely though. Oh, I didn't think that through. No, keep it going. Delivery mechanisms on these munition prisons. Thank goodness that birds have short memories because I have no idea what I was just talking about. But I do remember the important part destroy and kill everything. Yeah. Alright, so. We're going to see if we can speed through this here a little bit quick because it does get a little bit repetitive and they don't seem to bother me while I load, which is nice. Look at that. Look at that wingspan. It's beautiful and sometimes you get stuck underneath the door there, but no worries. We can just cruise on over here and automated turrets. <laughs> no big deal. They don't know how to aim. Journal 212. Merging our guns with their innovations will prove invaluable for the military. A merger, you say? Hmm. That sounds like a very big business decision. I don't know if the one weapon's gonna like it. I mean, the one weapon we were using earlier was Laserbeak's fart. You merge that with a gun, you got a bird gun fart? I mean, <laughs> that could be extremely deadly. I don't know if the world's ready for that. I don't think so. Next topic, next time, next issue. Commence testing of the laser grid in three, two, one. Whoa, 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 lasers, lasers. If you think about it, they should not hurt me, because I am Laserbeak, right? Which is a sweet name, by the way, Laserbeak. I wonder what the human equivalent to that would be. I guess Laser Nose. That's, that's not as cool. I don't know why, but that just doesn't work out as well. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna flap our wings at this guy and make him feel the stink. Yeah! Gotcha, brah. Oh, yeah. So, where's the button? Where's the button I need to press with my beak? Where's the button? Is there a worm around here? No metal worms, really? Really? What if I were just to, like, eat these right there? Just packing them. Well, I thought they were worms, brah. I thought. Oh, it's my bad. You shut down the whole facility, everything blows up before our mission is accomplished! And before we can load into the next frame, but we successfully done that, so it's okay. And I think this is the way to go. I actually don't know. We're just flying around having a good time. Yes. Great time. Destroying anything in our path. Going down south. Migrating for the winter. You know you get into the warm climate when you start seeing volcanoes and you start destroying Autobots that are there on vacation. Priceless. One of the things metal worms cannot buy right there. You know, because that's Laserbeak's currency, of course. Journal 146. 
Although it's great teaming with the Autobots, I'm a bit nervous about having them here. Keeping the Sector 7 data from them about the lunar landing doesn't feel right, but we have to follow orders. I'll order a bucket of metal worms for Laserbeak next time, and then we will have a feast. See you guys all then. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe for more. Also, click the screen for more awesome videos over at Brobras. Have a great day.